and Jeremiah's father is Patrick Gentry Jr., is that correct? Yes. Now, specifically on November 12th of 2013, Detective Anthony Patchouli of the Ocean County Prosecutor's Office was contacted regarding Jeremiah being admitted to Jersey Shore Medical Center on November 1st of 2013, is that correct? Correct. Jeremiah was admitted for what they thought could be osteomyelitis, O-S-T-E-O-M-Y-E-L-I-T-I-S of the right arm, correct? Right. Or in other words, um, they thought potentially maybe he had some type of infection of the bone. Is that correct? Yes. Now, Jeremiah underwent what's called a bone survey, correct? Yes. Now, um, initially they had tried treating it with antibiotics, correct? Because they thought it was an infection. Right. Correct? And then after that, they conducted the bone survey when the antibiotics were not um, effective, correct? That's my understanding. The bone survey revealed multiple fractures in the healing stage, including the distal left radius, the left and right proximal tibia, and the bilateral right clavicle. Is that correct? Yes. At the time, Detective Bowman, uh, excuse me, Detective Patchouli spoke with Alicia Bowman. Is that correct? Yes. Alicia Bowman indicated that she was the primary caretaker for Jeremiah, correct? Correct. Alicia indicated that, however, her mother, Lisa Bowman, her friend, Stephanie Vargo, and Jeremy's father, her husband, Patrick Gentry Jr., also have watched and cared for uh, Jeremiah on various occasions, correct? Correct. Alicia indicated that although Patrick does not care for Jeremiah often, when he does care for Jeremiah, he had exhibited um, frustration. Is that correct? That is correct. Alicia indicated that on more than one occasion, while Patrick would be caring for Jeremiah in another room, Jeremiah would cry in a manner that was different than his usual cry. Is that correct? That's correct. Alicia indicated that the cry would be a very high-pitched scream. Is that correct? Yes. Alicia indicated that when she would ask Patrick about Jeremiah's crying differently for him than for her, Patrick would never provide her any real answer. Is that correct? Correct. Alicia indicated that pa Patrick does have some underlying anger issues, correct? Correct. Now, Detective Patrick right, also spoke to Detective Genty in November of 2013. Is that correct? Yes. Patrick indicated that he, Alicia, Lisa Bowman, and Stephanie Vargo all have watched Jeremiah, correct? Correct. Patrick did acknowledge that on more than one occasion when Jeremiah would be placed in his arm, Jeremiah would cry uncontrollably, correct? Right. Patrick did acknowledge that he had become increasingly frustrated when caring for Jeremiah and that he would quickly give him back to Alicia to care for. Is that correct? That's correct. Dr. Stephen Carries of the Ch Child Protection Center of Jersey Shore University Medical Center examined Jeremiah's medical records. Is that correct? Yes, he did. And Dr. Carries noted that Jeremiah was initially admitted on November 1st, 2013 for concerns of a right upper extremity mid-arm swelling and discomfort, correct? Correct. Dr. Carey noted that in October of 2013, Alicia Bowman had brought Jeremiah to the doctor because she noted that there were some bruises to his abdomen area. Is that correct? That's correct. Now, at that, point, at that time, um, the medical personnel who examined Jeremiah did not note any pattern to the bruising. Is that correct? That's correct. And um, there was a compatible history or potentially compatible history of potentially rubbing against the restrainer in the walker that could potentially have caused the abdominal bruising, correct? Correct. So at that time, the hospital or the medical personnel didn't conduct any bo bone survey of um, Jeremiah. They just noted that there was bruising to his abdomen. Is that correct? Yes. When Jeremiah was initially admitted to Jersey Shore Medical Center in November of 2013, the original x-ray did not show any evidence of a fracture to the arm. Is that correct? Correct. Right. However, on November 12, 2013, a bone survey, which is more in-depth and um, more reflective of what's going on, was completed. Is that correct? Yes. The bone survey revealed evidence of a healing fracture at the wrist of the left radius, correct? Yes. The healing fracture appeared to be approximately six weeks old. Is that correct? Yes. The knees on both sides at the upper tibia below the kneecap also showed evidence of what's called a chip fracture. Is that correct? That's correct. Dr. Carries indicated that such chip fractures are called classic metaphyseal lesions, M-E-T-A-P-H-Y-S-E-A-L, correct? That's correct. Dr. Carries indicated that such chip fractures are due to either 
a rough twisting of the knee, or holding the knee up and dangling the legs back and forth so that there is some shaking causing injury to the knee. Is that correct? That's correct. Dr. Carey often noted a healing fracture of the right clavicle or collarbone, correct? Correct. Dr. Carey indicated oh, that collarbone. anywhere from three to either six or seven weeks old, correct? Right. Dr. Carey noted that there was also some irritation of the bone along the right humerus, M U H U M E R O U S, and along the left tibia, correct? Correct. Dr. Carries indicated that these are what are called non-specified markers of irritation, correct? Correct. Dr. Carries indicated that these types of non-specified markers of in irritation are usually due to trauma, correct? Yes. Dr. Carries indicated that there is no history of any accidental reasons for the fracture, thus there is a high concern for physical child abuse. Is that correct? Yes. During the course of the investigation, Detective Patchouli spoke with Stephanie Vargo. Is that correct? Correct. Right. Stephanie Vargo indicated that since Jeremiah was born, she babysat him on a few occasions, specifically between September 5th and 8th and between October 10th and 13th of 2013. Correct? That's correct. Right. Mrs. Vargo indicated that she had never observed anything that could have caused injuries to Jeremiah. Ms. Vargo did indicate that she has observed Jeremiah crying profusely while in Patrick Gentry's arms. Is that correct? Yes. Mrs. Vargo indicated that when that happens, Patrick gets frustrated, correct? Yes. Ms. Vargo indicated that if she or Alicia are around when Patrick gets frustrated and the baby immediately gets to Jeremiah after that, correct? Now, Detective Patchouli also spoke with Lisa Bauman, is that correct? Yes. And Lisa Bauman is uh, the grandparents of the children, correct? She's the grandmother, grandmother. I'm sorry. Um, Lisa Bauman indicated that she never observed anyone injured her prior on the front of her neck. indicated that she was that there was a person to Jeremiah's abdomen in October and she was aware that because her daughter had confirmed about the beef and that her daughter had brought Jeremiah in to be examined by the doctor to see what could have caused the um, bruising, correct? The baby mama brought the baby in. When she did see Jeremiah, she never observed him up all hours crying or screaming in this high-pitched manner. Is that correct? Correct. Lisa did indicate that when Alicia would put Jeremiah into Patrick's arms, Jeremiah would scream bloody murder is what she called it, correct? Yes. And Lisa indicated that Jeremiah's... Um, Screaming in Patrick's arm has been going on since even before the beginning of October of 2013. Is that correct? Correct. I have no further questions for this um, witness. Or any of okay. 